Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim of Kimberly Budgets and I am on a mission to be student debt free by 30 and make money moves in the process. Today we are going to be cash stuffing my second paycheck of February and talking through a big exciting life update. So definitely keep watching. But before we jump in, I have a few updates. First, my cash breakdown sticky notes are officially back in stock. Y'all are amazing and keep selling me out of them completely. So if you wanna buy them, grab them while you can. Link is in the description. Secondly, and also just as exciting, I joined TikTok. Uh, I'm going to be sharing some short behind the scenes there and budgeting tips on that platform. So make sure to follow me at Kimberly Budgets and I will also drop that link in the description. All right, let's get this money counted. So how's everybody doing today? Happy Friday. I hope everyone's having a good week or weekend so far. I already laid out my cash. So let's start with a hundreds. Here's my cash breakdown sticky notes. I should have 10 one hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that equals a thousand. For fifties, I should have four fifties. One, two, three, and four, or two hundred. Twenties, I should have twenty-four or four hundred eighty dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. That is right. For tens, I should have five tens or fifty dollars. One, two, three, four, and five. For one, I mean for fives, I should have four fives or twenty dollars. One, two, three, and four. For ones, I should have ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So everything is correct, and I have $1,760 to cash stuff. First things first, I am going to be unstuffing my cash envelopes. These are new. I got these from Lux Designs 831 on Etsy. I wanted something a little bit more compact. Um, so when I would go to the grocery store, I wouldn't have to take out this binder of cash. I felt like I was attracting a lot of attention that I didn't really want. So. I decided to get something a little bit more discreet and these were really cute. In groceries, I have a 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58 left in groceries. For spending, I have $20 left in spending. Eating out, I have the full $40. Entertainment, I have $4 left in entertainment, and gas, you know, we roll over. All right, so on to the stuffing. Also, as you can probably tell, I'm filming in a new setup, trying out a new camera angle. Let me know in the comments below which you like better. Do you like the overhead camera or do you like the slightly angled camera angle? Yeah. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. So for groceries, we are giving it its usual $80. So my life update, y'all, I am so excited to say that I got a promotion and a raise. Spending is $40. Yeah, so I had my two year evaluation at work yesterday and I wasn't really expecting much out of it. Um, eating out is getting 40, but since my boss left in the falls, I've been doing a lot of her job and I've been taking on more and more of her role Entertainment is also getting 40 and and they decided to go ahead and promote me to her previous position So now I am the director Gas is getting nothing. So now I am the director of my team, but that is it for my 
cash envelopes and I will move on quickly to my bills binder. What that means essentially is that I'm going to be taking on obviously a little bit more responsibilities like managing a person, but that also means that I do get a raise, which is really, really exciting. Um, I was one of those people that didn't fully believe that I fit the role of being a director. I never saw myself as a director type person, um, but I'm really grateful for this opportunity and for my workplace for seeing the potential I didn't really see in myself. So yeah, that's my big life update. So opening up my bills binder, I need to put $100 in Invisalign. This is going to be unstuffed at the end of the month to pay off my Invisalign bill, which is great. And we are going to be utilizing the rest of this binder starting in March since I am one month ahead of my bills. On to sinking funds. So for my high priority sinking funds, starting with health because my emergency fund is fully funded, health is getting $40 or 220s. One thing I should mention is that this job promotion came with a raise. Um, originally, they were going to give me a $10,000 raise, but let me count health first. 100, 220, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, 271 in health. So originally they were going to give me a $10,000 raise, but I um, had a conversation with them during my evaluation kind of explaining that so really I've been doing this job for a number of months and I felt like I Took on more responsibilities than what was in my original job description car maintenance is getting its usual 10 and so I asked about doing a retroactive pay adjustment to account for the fact that I've been doing higher level responsibilities basically managing a person for the past four months when originally that's not what I was being paid to do. Car maintenance has 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. 245 in car maintenance. And after going back and forth, um, they decided instead of doing a retroactive pay adjustment, so just paying me a lump sum for the money that they owed me, they were going to tack on an additional $5,000 to my yearly compensation. And I decided that that was the ideal scenario because personal is getting a $50 bill because that meant that they were going to contribute more to my 401k, first of all, because they contribute um, a percentage of our yearly salary with no match required. So that meant they were going to be contributing more and it positions me to make even more money because raises are a percentage of our salary yearly. Personal has 50, 1, 20, 30, 31, and 32. 132 in personal. It was interesting because what he was saying when I was initially bringing up this idea, my boss was saying, okay, but we're already giving you a raise. So why do you, why are you asking for more money? Essentially is what he was asking, but um, self-care is getting 30, which is a 20 and a 10. But what I kept repeating was, this is not me asking for an additional raise. You've already given me a raise and I am incredibly grateful for it. What I'm asking for is a pay adjustment for the work that I have already done, for the work I've already done. I'm just asking for what I think is fair. Self-care has 50, 70, 90, 100, 110 in self-care. And so, that framing actually really worked. That framing is what got them to take my compensation back to the table, have a discussion about it, and give me totaling a $15,000 raise. I'm doing a lot of chatting. Next, we are going to jump into my low priority sinking funds. So all of that to say, I'm incredibly grateful. Gifts is getting 50, a $50 bill, because if you would have told me a recent grad who was living on my friend's couch because I didn't have money for my own apartment just a few years ago, that I'd be where I am today, I wouldn't believe you. Let me count gifts first. Gifts has 50, 60, and one. 
I wouldn't believe you because I was in such a dark place financially and I thought I just couldn't believe that this was what the world had in store for me for the rest of my life. Birthday ha is getting 10. But I feel like I've just been incredibly, incredibly blessed to be given the opportunities to get to this point and to work for a workplace that I love, doing work that I'm really passionate about. And I just, I'm just in shock. Honestly, I like cried after we hung up the call because I was just so incredibly overwhelmed and grateful for this opportunity. But birthday has 20, 30, and 40. So obviously this is going to affect my budgets moving forward. Beauty is getting nothing. Obviously this is going to affect my budgets going forward. Um, my next budget with me, I'm not sure what my new paycheck is going to be. So just bear with me as I figure that out. Um, clothes is getting $30, so a 20 and a 10. But yeah, that is my exciting life update. I, I still can't believe it, y'all. I'm in, I'm in shock. Close, is, close has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, and 72. I know I've been doing a lot of chatting in this video, which is super not normal for me. Hopefully y'all are okay with it. I just thought maybe, I just thought it was important to explain why my budget's going to be changing in the future. Household is getting a $5 bill as usual. So household has 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 in household. Kimberly Budgets is getting $45, which is two 20s and a five. Kimberly Budgets has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93. 93 in Kimberly Budgets. New phone is getting 30, so a 20 and a 10. So new phone has 120, 40, 50, 55, 60, 2, 10, 210 in new phone. And the rest of this money is going to be put towards my savings challenges, which includes my debt, some savings goals of mind, which will come in the next video. But yeah, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with me as I just chatted, chatted, chatted away about my life updates and different updates I have. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I still can't believe this many people watch my videos. I, ap I appreciate you all so much. I will see you in the next video for my savings challenge stuffing. Bye!